It's been a volatile session for stocks. The major averages trying to hold on to their weekly win streaks, but there is more technical trouble brewing in the charts. Is there or is the rally's momentum set to get back on track? Let's ask Jeff DeGraff. He is the founder and chairman of Renaissance Macro. Welcome back. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Scott. Uh, what do you make of this early trading? Well, this this uh, couple first uh, week or so, um, you know, I think you did have some tax loss selling uh, that helped to create that vacuum that, you know, gives bulls the advantage. But uh, I do think longer term, uh, you hit on it a little bit, you know, nine straight weeks of gains uh, through last uh, last week um, is pretty unusual. It's happened, you know, roughly 20 times in the last 100 years. Um, and that usually implies stronger gains ahead. And I think it's really just a reflection of some of the breadth indications that we've talked about, 20-day highs, a percentage of issues above their 20-day moving averages. Um, those are indications of bull markets. So when we start the year, we just did our outlook call this morning. You know, the first thing we look at is just saying, hey, look, are we in a bull market, bear market, or, you know, really undetermined? Um, and it's pretty clear to us that we're in a bull market. And frankly, we have been for uh, at least 10 months and really... Uh, kind of nailed that home with the breadth thrust that we saw in the fourth quarter. Well, what if part of this was built on, you know, a shaky foundation, so to speak, especially towards the end of the year? Seasonals, positioning, um, growth is slowing. The Fed's probably not cutting as much as the market thinks. All of that together, does that weaken the case that this is a new and about to rage bull market? I don't think it does. And I, I certainly am sympathetic to the idea that the Fed's probably not going to be as aggressive as maybe the market's pricing in right here. But I don't think you can disconnect that, uh, that concern with the reaction that we've seen from equities. And that's everything, you know, forget the Magnificent Seven uh, or even the S&P 500 for that matter. I mean, we've seen uh, really good thrust indications out of the micro cap, the Russell micro cap index, uh, the small cap index. Uh, if you really look globally, particularly if you take out China and Hong Kong, um, the global markets are acting much, much better. So whatever's out there, whether it was a concern that the Fed was going to overstep their boundaries or, frankly, uh, global central banks are going to overstep their boundaries, um, that's coming off the boil. And I think that's going to give us uh, some latitude to move higher. The other thing to keep in mind uh, because I think people are concerned about this, is, you know, the, the triple B spreads and most of the credit indications, when I say most, I mean all, uh, the credit indications that we look at still say that there really isn't uh, a whiff of, of credit concerns or recession uh, in these markets. And so I think the Fed has done a good job at engineering what's going to prove to be most likely a, uh, a soft landing.